If you're serious about building a brand, it's, it's a year by year. Billion dollar businesses actually have been built already on the back of just social media. You and me both. What's one of the largest challenges you've had to overcome, whether it's just a business growth challenge or a client problem you ran into? What's one of the biggest challenges that you really had to push to get through? So I don't think it's one specific challenge. Mm -hmm. I think the thing that I had to learn as an entrepreneur, which, which I always, when I'm talking to people, I say is an important entrepreneurial lesson. The thing to learn is failures are learning opportunities. Right. And, and my father really ingrained that in me because yes. any entrepreneur who says he, didn't, he or she didn't fail, they're lying. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, no one is just, I'm always successful and everything yeah. I touch turns to gold. And if you are, yeah. great, more power to you. Yeah. But yeah. I think what I had to learn as an entrepreneur was you are going to get knocked down. Mm -hmm. What matters isn't that you got knocked down, it's how quickly do you get back up and what did you learn from that? So for me, that's always what it was, especially as I started so young, right? right? So, you know, when you're 16, 17 years old, <laughs> What do you, you don't Nothing know, you don't know here, anything. Yeah. You, don't, you think you know everything, yeah. right? If you were, you know, if I go back and talk to past Rob of yeah. 20 years ago, yeah. that guy thought he knew everything. Right. Present day Rob is like, that guy knew nothing. <laughs> but I think the important thing was understanding I failed, yes. you know, or this didn't go the way I yes. wanted. I'm upset. And I think, you know, it's easy to say, you know, I'm down on the mat and not going to get back up. Right. Wow, I got kicked and I'm down and that's it. This is the end of me and game over. Right. And I think game over not being an option is important. Right. And I think saying, okay, this is, what, this is what happened, here's the decision I made, what can I do to be better? Yes. Could I have gotten more information? What could I have learned from it? Right. And even as I think back on the last you know, 15, 20 years of this journey, mm. where I am today is only a function of all the failures and mistakes I've made before. Yeah. Right? Fool me once, you know, fool me twice, right? So it's about how can I take that, learn from it, be right. better right. from it. And that's what I think a lot of young entrepreneurs especially struggle with because they don't expect that. And I think it's partially I mean, not to get political, it's not really political, but education systems these days, they kind of tend, especially in the earlier ages, prime you for failure bad, right answer good. Memorize this and put it down, wrong or right. And it's just very black and white. But in entrepreneurship, it's not that. And they'll have their first failure and figure, well, I'm just not good enough. I did it wrong, I failed, I'm done. But really, it's like you said, having that commitment, I think is so important knowing there is no other option and just committing to no matter what happens, I'll figure out how to do it better and I'll keep going forward towards the mission. I think we just can't give up because that's something I try to tell a lot of young entrepreneurs as well that I talk to. They have to let that click into their head. You have to fail. You're going to have to fail. Not because it's sexy to say that or it's popular, but because no one knows everything. Like you said, like no one has this clear, perfect vision. You're going to have to go figure it out as you do it, make the mistakes to become the person you're going to need to become to build something like what you've done now. So that's super important, right? Absolutely. I will tell you, I'm mean, looking back on this journey, I have learned a lot more from my failures than I oh, yeah. have from my successes. Oh, yeah. The successes are more fun, yes. no doubt, but you learn a lot more from the yes. failures. And I think as an entrepreneur, if you understand that failures are learning opportunities yeah. and you really appreciate the fact of, you know, okay, what could I have done differently? How could I be better? How could I be a better person tomorrow? How could I have made a better choice? What information was I missing? You know, all of that sort of figuring it out like a puzzle. If you embrace that as the journey, then when you fail, you're not like, oh man, I can't believe I failed. Right. You're, I'm about to learn something new right. and then I'll be better for it. Hmm. And I still take that with me today. Yeah. You know, I'm not, we're, we're all far from perfect, right. right? I'm the first one right. to admit, I make mistakes all the time. Yeah. And to me, it's always like, I made a mistake, what can I learn from it? Right. And how can I be better tomorrow? Yes. And I think if entrepreneurs understand that, yeah. then failures aren't failures, yeah. right? And then yeah. you go on that journey and you charge onward. And I think if you have the attitude of, you know, and again, it comes back to passion, yeah. failure's not an option. I had to push through whatever obstacle it was, yes. no matter how giant it seemed, oh my God, yes. we're never gonna yes. overcome this. No, we have to overcome yeah. this. There yeah. is no other option. Yeah. And you always come out better on the other side. That's Absolutely. all the growth. I'm actually weary of successes these days because I, I tend to under-celebrate wins and successes because those start to scare me because everyone sees these wins and now everyone's really calm and everyone thinks they're doing such a great job and sure enough, that's where the next mistake comes out of. So the wins, when we see wins, to me, it's just you did your job. You're on the right path, but keep going. Don't stop and celebrate and slow down and think it's all over. For me, I love the failures the same way because I know that, okay, that's something I didn't know. It's good to learn that now. We're gonna get better, we're gonna come out of it. It keeps everyone on their toes, it keeps everyone alert, it keeps everyone trying to grow. I like having those. Successes, I've never seen a company built just on the back of endless successes.